Well, good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well this morning. On my way out again today. Uh, it's pretty early. It's probably about 5:30 a.m. Sunday. I was going to head out to Owls today, but I've decided to um, probably go there tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go out to Tom's, and there's a couple of burrows out there that I've seen a few rabbits sitting on, and I'm going to go out there and hit them today. Um, you haven't seen it before. I haven't videoed it. I've been out there a couple of times just to have a look, but um, I haven't videoed it. So um, today will be your first time to have a look at that. So we'll head out there. I've got a few ferrets with me. Um, oh, who have I got? I've got Chewy, Monty, Silver. A uh, new one I've decided to call Charlie because that's who I got it off. Um, it is a Jill, and Charlie's sort of a unisex name isn't it like it can, be, it can be both so anyway I've called her Charlie um, I've also got Buffy Star and Cena uh, who else have I got out there and I've got Storm as well so a few ferrets with me uh, if it doesn't depending on how long the heat stays away it's already 14 degrees but it's meant to only be 24 today so hopefully we'll get a little bit of time to do it couple of the other burrows out there. There's one big big burrow warren in particular um, I'm going to do first and there's a few smaller ones around that that I'll um, try and do at some stage. Today if I get the today if I get the opportunity. So that's that's what we're up to. Um, just in response to Stinking polecat, who I called Zeus polecat the other day. They were similar sort of names, but in a way. But um, yeah, shout out to Stinking polecat who um, who made a comment and I called him Zeus the other day. Sorry about that, there, buddy, but um, this is your name up. But yeah, yeah, the young Chase is going really, really good, mate. He's showing a bit of promise. He's got a rip. He ripped his stop pad yesterday. Um, he didn't tear it right off. Or anything, but he um, but he did tear the skin off one of them. But he's not limping at all. So uh, he's starting to mature. He's getting a bit harder now. He's not. He's not. Um, he's not pup, as puppyish as he was. So he looks like he'll be, he'll be all right. He'll get better as time goes on. Got all three dogs with me. And we'll see how we go. When we get there. I'm expecting to get a few out of this burrow. I've seen a, a few sitting on them. Last time I uh, went out and had a look at it, there was a few. And they look really, really active. Probably the most active out of most of the burrows that I've, I've done for a little while, anyway. So we should get a few out of it. It's a silo, silo burrow out there. It's only got two or three holes, and, and uh, we'll do that one as well. Uh, what else? Yesterday morning I went out for a bit of a drive to have a look at the the um, the other side of the hill where I've just gained permission and I seen about I don't know 40 to 50 rabbits running around about an acre and a half area and there's about a dozen to 20 burrows I counted I can't remember exactly but look there'd be 20 burrows in that vicinity that I had a look at yesterday and a lot of them are very very active so and they're perfect they're three or four holes uh, some are five or six seven eight but most of them perfect to run the kids through so um, and you know they're active because there's so many rabbits running around there um, it's on the on the bottom on the uh, the foothills of this this big hill left that's out there so we should I'll take the kids out there and we'll get them going out there well that's about it, what I'm up to at the moment, it's about 15 minutes before I get to the gate. Oh no, it wouldn't be that long. It's 15 minutes before I get there to the spot because I've got to open up a few gates on the way in. Farm gate, so yeah, about 15 minutes I'll be there. Alright, get back to you once I get set up. I'm going to start watching this road, a few roofs along here this time of morning. Okay, bye for now. Alright guys, I've just... Um, Still got a couple of gates to go through. I'll just put the uh, the light 
the camera on. I'm not sure if anything will come out on camera or, or actually whether I'll actually be able to see anything. But I'll leave it on anyway, so I've still got two, a couple of gates to go through. But there is quite a few rabbits in, uh, in this area where I'm going. Uh, this place is literally five minutes from my place to the farm gate, but the drive in takes about, I don't know, ten minutes. And you've got a few farm gates you've got to open. Uh, another one just, just here. Well, I'll leave the, leave the I'm just about there. I've just gave it another couple, and that's about it. see the creek from here but it, there's a creek that runs along here and there's quite a few burrows spaced out along it in a short short um, area Beautiful views here too guys on a mountain right up, up against the mountain range. Nice part of the country. There is a burrow on that log. That, that silo. Right there, that's got a, a burrow on it. It's right here. I didn't see not one run. Alright guys, well I'm here. I'm just going to wait for the sun to come up a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to get into them. Get back to you. Alright guys, it took me a little while to get set up in the process, I lost a set of sunglasses somewhere in their prescription, so hopefully I can find them. But it was a bit dark, they fell out of my pocket. Uh, but hopefully I can find them. Anyway, we'll have a look for them later. So, um, this is the burrow in here. Where the dogs are. And along this creek here, just over near that gum tree, is another big burrow. There's one on that silo there, there's a log burrow over there, and as far as I can tell, they're all holding rabbits. I've seen quite a few sitting on this one, quite a few, I've seen about, I don't know, 10 sitting on here um, about two weeks ago. Got a long neck going around on the other side of the fence. Not sure if this joins or not, but I thought, oh well, I'd better cover it just in case. And there's a smaller burrow just over there. Along this creek over here, there's a couple more sandy burrows. Not as big as this one, as far as I can tell at the moment. There's my glasses, look at that. Okay, that's good. Down then. I'm glad because their prescription. I've got money, and I'll get Storm out as well. 
Come on, Storm. And we'll drop these two in just to start off with. Look, this burrow you could run quite a few in, but I just want to show you what these two can do. It's already hot, and I'm already sweating, already, and as you can see, I already took my shirt off. One in there. One in there. Let her go. Happy to be out, isn't she? Down she goes. There goes money. Gonna grab another couple of ferrets, guys. These three in. I've got Charlie's um, young ferret here. Storm out there in the bottom. Well, that's Charlie's young one. Never seen a burrow. So. Uh, He goes one bang. Silver out behind it. All right, good dog. Mine, 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 mine. I said mine. Good boy. No, ah, mine. Mine. Him up there. Mine, just go with him. Go, on. look. There's Bolton here. Almost came out there where Fleet is. There, bang. Good dogs. Alright. Alright, alright, mine. 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 Good dog. Who? Oh, mine. Go on. Good. Good dog. Go get him. They've got another one, haven't they? The fleet's got it. Yep, dragged it out. Chewy had hold of it. Hot move. Mine. Mine. This is Charlie down the ferret. Charlie. Back down. Charlie's working all right. Now all the rabbits, the ferrets are staying down. Take that back.
Charlie. Chewy. That might be Monty. It's hard to tell them apart from here. It's probably Charlie. Looks like Charlie. That's Monty. Move, Blake. Really playful at first, though. Chewy. Charlie's going pretty good. Hunting hunting wise, goes to the ground, had a good look around. Look, 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 he's in the nest. There you go. Oh, mine, mine, mine. Bleach. Bleach. Mine. Mine. Guns Chewy following it, look at that. He found it. Good boy, Chew. Look at him. Found it. So I tried to sneak away in the grass. Chewie's got it. Followed over to the net. Just silver missing. Just like Chewie, Chewie just has a... Oh, I got you. And there's silver. We got four out of there, it's something, but I did expect to get more. And I'll run Buffy, Buffy Star and um, Xena through here. I'll cut them rabbits and put them in the esky. Alright, I've got uh, all of the those four back. Chewy, Silver, Monty and Charlie. Uh, and Charlie went pretty good for her first bar. Did, did well. Did really well. But over the coming weeks I've got some really good burrows to put them in, some nice small ones. One, two, three. One. Two.
Buffy. Go on, Buffy. See what these three can do. We got four out of there, but I was really expecting to get at least at least half a dozen. I was only about ten sitting on it. I was parked at that farm gate over there. I was just looking around, and came to that gate, and I found out. I seen them running around here. There was about ten. about I just seen one then run out I think and hit the net who 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 go get him go get him where is he plate where is he So they found another one. Okay, good dogs. Good dogs. Sleep. Mine. 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 Chase. Mine. Sleep. Mine. Mine. So there's five. Yeah, that's why I ran Buffy and that through because um, I just wasn't convinced. I thought there's got to be more in here. They just can't find them. This is a big buck. But he might have had his head in the corner and then after the ferrets come out, he might have come, decided to try and make a run for it. No, there's a ferret. There's Buffy out behind it. So you're looking for it all fluffed up and back down. And I look, I know that my ferret's pretty well. Chewy doesn't normally miss many, so I'm surprised. But out of those ferrets, uh, these three are probably a little bit better. And the others a little bit you can see them staying down a lot more and their minds a little bit more on the job also there's David next door if you see this creek it runs to a fence just over there and on the other side of that fence is a bloke called David um, Magnin, Magin, Maginton Maginton something like that David anyway and he said I can go along the creek there and I can get a vehicle in there's a couple of burrows along the the creek over there so we yeah, go along that creek towards his house um, when I get around to I don't know maybe when the, the grass in that paddock is real real tall he hasn't got any sheep or anything out there so um, I might wait for it to, to go down a bit <laughs> Puppy, puppy's limping. And she was limping then. She might have got a kick. I'll pick her up. She was limping a bit then, Buff. Hi, Buffster. Good girl. Alright. Come to hand. They're all coming to hand now. So I think this burrow's done. Two of them just ran straight over to me. One to go. So five rabbits, guys. 
I bought a couple of pocket knives recently. I'm waiting for a real good one to come on um, on Monday. I just got to go pick it up. It's already at the post office. We don't get our mail delivered. We got to go to the post office to get it. And this is just a a very cheap knife, but I did sharpen it. So it's pretty, sh really sharp. But it's only a cheap knife. It's seven bucks or something. It's a Browning stainless steel blade, cheap knife. And I bought a few of them. One, I bought two good ones. One of them was too big, so I ordered the same sort of knife. It's star. And it's uh, at the post office. That was a little more expensive. Star won't be far away. All right, guys. What I'm going to do is um, I'll pick Star up when she comes out. Buffy, I might. Uh, I seen her limping, so I might just rest her. Let's storm a bit of liver. Go put this rabbit in the uh, in the esky on ice with the other ones. So five. I was expecting about about ten, but we got half of that. We got five. Look, you can't really complain. You get a five rabbits out of a burrow, you. Yeah, you're not going to complain, are you? I was expecting a few more guys, but there you go. But there's a few. There's a few around this area. Don't worry. Yeah, Buffy must have copped a kick off that rabbit. Seen him limping a little bit. And those rabbits kick hard, mate. It was a big buck that hit that net. Sometimes I'll grab them and hold them at the arse end and they'll, the rabbits will give them a good kick. And they kick hard, mate. All right, guys, I'll pick um, Star up when she comes out. She's not far away, look. Still hunting. Yeah, she's done. All right, I'll pick her up. Come. Star back, she was running around a bit hunting and eventually got her back. So I'll put the oh, I'll put them back in their in their cage. I might run um get Charlie's little Jill out and run it through a couple of smaller ones. I might do that one on that silo first. She's pretty young, but um, she seemed to do all right. So we'll get these ones back.
I'll get Storm. I'll take Storm with me just in case. Storm and Charlie's little jilt. Right, here's Charlie. Put her in there. Storm. We'll put her in there. We'll go for a bit of a walk, eh? Far away, I really liked it the other day. Few holes on that, isn't it? What not to what? Doesn't matter, dogs will have a good run. So we've covered a few holes. I'll lift a few out and we'll get Charlie out. Down one, we haven't got a hole, a net on. Off she goes. Hopefully. Yep. She is. Back down. We'll give her a chance. Head back down. But a nice area, isn't it? It's beautiful. Along that creek over there, David said there's a few burrows as well. As well. And I spotted one or two of them on the creek over there. Nice ones, nice burrows. So there's a five, <coughs> five to one chance that they'll hit a net and not come out to one without a net. Oh shit, there's another hole over there, you see? Oh, look at that. So it's bigger than it looks. I'm, I'm definitely going to put a net on there. I might put Storm in here. It's bigger than it looks, this burrow. There's another hole. Storm down. Didn't like this hole, wanted to find her own. Oh, we're bolting now. Now yeah, they're moving. Oh, that kid's chasing that because Storm's over there. They're running in circles. So there's a rabbit in there, 100%. Oh. 
Move. Right here. Oh, they've got a hold of it. It's a big one too, but they've got it, I can hear it. Move, move. Move. Look at that bat coming up here, there. She's lost it. So they've caught it, haven't they? So the kid did done well. He, he caught that rabbit. The storm was over there, and I could hear it fighting with it right there. Got it out. Where did it run out from? Come out over here somewhere. Oh, there's a storm right behind it. There must be a little bolt hole right there, missed it. She's looking for it now. Back down. So the kid grabbed hold of it, couldn't quite manage to hurt it enough to get it to bolt. So I put Storm in where it was. She's a little bit more voracious and it uh, she got it to bolt. Probably dragged her along and she won't want to come out now. I oh, know you're excited. Back down. There's the kit. Did well, Kit. Did well, Charlie. Da, 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 da. She's going real good. Da, 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 She's going real good. Little Charlie. She's pretty damn keen, isn't she? That would, would have done her the world of good. All right, so. Got the storm back. So that was good, wasn't it, guys? I mean, look, we didn't catch it. It ran, <laughs> ran out of the bloody bolt hole that we didn't see. It's always a way, isn't it? Like, you've got four or five nets down, a couple of holes that aren't covered, and they run out of the ones that aren't covered. Just seen a kit then. Yeah, so it ran out of... Um, bolt hole just here somewhere, I can't even find it again now, but it's just here somewhere. Real nice bolt hole, there it is, look at that, and we didn't see it. And I always cover them bolt holes, they're the, they're the ones they normally run out of. Anyway, that's ferreting guys, that's ferreting. Bit of fun though, good, really good for the kit, I'm, I'm pretty uh, happy. I mean I heard her fighting with that rabbit right there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Pack these nets up, I'll pick up the kit. I'll wait till she's ready. Very happy with that kit, really good. I've got no doubt in my mind she'll attack a rabbit straight away. Alright, so we'll pack these nets up, it's getting really windy, but there is um, a couple of small burrows over there, I might uh, put that kit back down, still got plenty of energy and 
I think she's going along all right, so we'll give her a bit more work. Chase one in the grass, and it ran towards the burrow with the long net, so I think we got another one, guys. Zip was right up its ass. Yep, it got it. Good dogs. Good dogs, good girls, Zip. Oh. All right, mine, 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 mine. Mine, good boy. Go get him. There's another one there somewhere. I think. Get him, Fleet. All right, so there's here half a dozen. The beauty of dogs, guys. The beauty of dogs. It's hiding in that grass there. And the dogs were just going backwards and forwards and then zip flushed it. It was right up its ass and chased it into the net. Good boy. There you go. Mine. Mine. Dump. Oh yeah. Give me that bag. Right yeah, get back here guys. Right yeah, we swapped out um We've got Charlie and I've got uh, money in the box as well. We swapped out Storm. Just want to keep money going and have a good look at it. Seeing a little bit of a burrow there and we'll walk up along there and have a bit of a look along that creek there. And I love doing this sort of thing, just sort of kick, I call it kicking around, but just a few ferrets in the box, a couple of nets, and you can't cover them all, don't worry about it. The dogs get a chase and listen to the birds and take in the scenery. It's bloody, it's all good. Not too hot because of the cloud cover. When the clouds disappear, it'll be it'll warm up fast, but when you're doing this sort of thing, a little bit of a burrow here, there's nothing in that. That one where Fleet is now, not sure about. This might hold a rabbit, we'll, we'll put the kit through it first. Oh, it's got a bolt hole, that's good. Probably not, but we'll give it a go. Get the kit used to being handled and give it a look. Another bolt hole there. Charlie. 
Yeah. Up he goes. No, nothing. It's worth a try. There's Molly. Move, Chase. Chase. Do, 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 do. Next up, that was worth a try, guys. So we're just following this creek. See all the digging in the area. Another burrow there with chasees. Another one just straight across there. Straight across there, there's one. I think there's one where chase is now, but I've seen a real good one up a little bit further, I think. It was. old one here. It's a nicer one across the creek there. But I did spot one up here. That's not a bad burrow over there. Pretty big one. But I did spot a nice one up here. Where the dog is. Actually, that's not the one I've seen. There's another one up further. This is a nice burrow, too, isn't it? This would definitely have rabbits, no doubt about it. Look at that. Look at, look at the dog. Get him, Chase. You can smell something fresh. Look at this for a burrow, guys. Going to quickly throw down a few purse nets. There's another burrow right there. Look at the dog. Let's have a bit of a look around here. But I'll do that burrow, I'll, I'll throw a few purse nets on that burrow and run the kit through it. There's the other one, I, that's the one I was talking about. That one there. That's the one I've seen from the other side. And this looks like it'll have rabbits too. Oh, for sure, have to have, wouldn't it? Look at the footprints on it. And you'll probably find a few more as you go along. Plus I've got David's on the same creek. And you just go along and find these type of burrows. Fantastic just for putting the, um, a box on your shoulder with a couple of ferrets. And having a bit, bit of a wander. Listen to the birds. But I'll do this one. Put down a few purse nets and put both those ferrets in. Get back to you. I didn't miss a hole. That's okay. It's probably the one that they run out of. Well, I'm out of nets, guys. I only brought seven, half a dozen with me. Seven, seven nets. 
No, doesn't look like we're going to get in, so I'll pick these ferrets up, move somewhere up and do another one. I'll, I'll, I would have just about bet money that uh, we would have got something out of there. And yet we got nothing. But anyway, it's still enjoyable just walking along the creek, listening to the birds, wind in the trees. Look at this, a big kangaroo over there. Bit of a loner, probably an old one. Chase, no. I know you've seen him, no. He's looking right at it. He used to chase and fleet, uh, chase, but I've, I've been telling him off for it, and he's starting to listen. Well, that looks like, a, like about it, so there's about three or four burrows back there. No, Chase. Yes, Chase, he's looking right at it, no. Good boy, come on, mate. Just having a little bit of a look over here. All right, guys, I'll get back to you. I'm just having a bit of a walk. Here goes another kangaroo. Ran across there. Yeah, when Chase was younger, he'd, he'd be, he would have been going mad to try and get that. I just don't let him, you know. I just don't. I don't want him chasing roos. Chase all the foxes I want, but not roos. Burrow down in there, goes down there. Looks like it comes out there. Another burrow here. I'd actually just put the ferrets in this one, let the dogs have a run. This will be probably one of the last for the day. On it. See a lot of old shotgun cartridges, but they're real old. See another one there. Really old. Baby, send a baby then. All right, so this will be good for that kid. Some young ba baby, babies in here. They're probably going to do a bit of waiting. what's going on the camera keeps turning off I'm not I don't know why another baby came out ran down there so two very small kids fleet almost had it This will, be, this will do that, that young ferret, Charlie, a world of good. The damn camera, it keeps switching off. Dogs just chase the rabbit through there. And young ones are just running in and out. They're 
Here. Here, look, 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 look. So they miss that one. There's been a few young ones, small ones. This will be real good for that Charlie. Star here joins. Because it, it, a couple of rabbits just ran out of here then. So this one joins. They're only babies. So that Charlie's chasing them out on her own because I picked Monty up. I'm actually going to pull her back down now. That joins that burrow. Look bigger than it looks in there. That joins and that joins. Move, move, move. Zip just seen something then. I knew there'd be more kids in there, there had to be. I seen it. I seen them run out back in, and they couldn't have killed them that quick. Who? 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 Got him. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good boy. Good boy, Pete. Chase. Good boy. Fine. Fine. Right. There's Charlie. Dot, 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 dot. Blue back down, mate. Dot, 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 dot. It's going good, that Charlie. Came out, had a look, and then just flew back down. Doing good. Doing real good. So your ferret's going good, Charlie. She's going real good. The father of that kit is um, uh, Rip's brother. We think it's Rip's brother. Come from Dan anyway. Definitely, definitely related to Rip. You can tell by looking at him. Um, and the mother is Charlie Cinnamon Doe, who in her own right is a very, very good worker, apparently. I've never seen her work. Um, but apparently she's really, really good. Got another one. Good boy, late. Good boy. Here, here, come. Come, come. Mine, 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 mine. I knew there had to be more kicks in there than that. Alright, that's mine. What you? Look, 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 look. Where is he? What you? Who, 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 get him Chase, just missed him, good boy mate, where is he, oh, they're still chasing kids out aren't they, just missed him mate, So we've bowled at 11 today and we've caught eight. A couple of two of them, the small ones. Trixie's kids at home are going really, really good. They've opened their eyes now and they're getting around, they're eating on their own and they're looking real good. Gonna give there's three of them that have got dark noses, a buck and two jewels. I'm gonna give one of the dark nosed ones to Graham. I'll keep the two light nosed pole cats. And one and the darkest pole cat I'll keep that for myself. And I'll give Graham the other dark pole cat and I'll keep the I'm keeping the dark nosed buck as well. He's not real dark, but he's 
He's dark, I'll keep him, I'll keep that buck. Because I'm not breeding quickly anymore, so I'll work the buck and see how he goes, and if he's any good, I'll hang on to him and I can breed him with um I can breed him with a couple of storms kits. If I, if I was closer, I'd, I'd drop a few more ferrets in here now, just to hurry it along a bit. Money. Yeah, well, we're just waiting for Charlie now. Alright guys, back at home now. Um, we ended up we ten eight a bit of few issues with the with the camera battery. There's Trixie. Fat as a pig she is. Wouldn't even know she's got kits, would you? Her kits are really, really good. I just gave them some rabbit. I'll give you a quick look at them. And uh, now Trixie girl. Hello girl. Yeah, so a couple of light nose ones and a few dark nose ones. But I'll be keeping four of those. Yeah, so um we ended up with ten altogether. Uh, which wasn't too bad I suppose. I got stuck on that burrow. Jeez, he's haven't eaten much of your mints. You've tipped it out of your bowl. Haven't eaten much. That's Storm's kits, Storm and Storm's kits, I just put Storm back. Yeah, ended up waiting for Charlie's um, Jill for a little while, probably about 20 minutes. But she acquitted herself pretty well, I'm pretty happy with her. I don't know how she'll go uh, savaging a rabbit, but look, she had hold of, the, of a big one that she didn't give up on, so I was impressed with that. And, um, and the burrow with the kit, she was in there for ages. So... Um, I was pretty happy with how she worked, even though I had to wait for her a little, a little bit. So Charlie, that, 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 and she's the youngest out of all of them. But she looks like she'll make a ferret. She was hunting straight to ground and hunting straight away. So I was um, very, very happy with her. There's old Grace, losing all her hair, poor old girl. Yeah, anyway, um, so that's it guys. That's going to be it for another day. I'll go out to Al's place probably tomorrow. We're out of Tom's today, Al's I'll go to tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure what time I've got to start. I've got to wait for a doctor appointment with my mum and then after that I'll, I'll go out for a few hours. Probably won't do a lot. But on, on the way out, guys, I, I, um, I did a little bit of exploring out at uh, where Tom is, Tom Brady. Um, and I found a few more burrows that look pretty active in the middle of the paddocks. So... Yeah, it's not, it's not big, not as many in them as I thought there was going to be, but look, there's a few there. If you can go out and catch 10 rabbits in a couple of hours, you, you're doing alright, aren't you? You know, you're just walking on, and I'm only potting around, throwing down a few purse nets and, and still managed to get 10 without too much trouble, although I did that big burrow, I expected to get a few more out of there, but not to worry. You know, they're always a bonus, aren't they? Beautiful part of the country, next time I'll show you the views in there. There's some stunning views driving out to that burrow. Uh, it was a little bit early this morning when I uh, was driving out and on the way back the uh, the camera was playing up the battery so I didn't really get an opportunity to do that. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for another day. Whatever you're doing in life, make sure you enjoy because life goes past way too fast. Bye for now.